Next, we'll hear from Mayor Peterson, the city manager, and she'll. Uh, and I, again, I want to thank her for hosting us here today in this beautiful spot and with this beautiful weather she arranged. <laughs> Thank you very much, Laurie. It really is a pleasure to be here and to have all of you here. I can't take uh, credit for the weather, so I'll make that disclaimer right up front. Um, but I want to tell you that it truly is wonderful to look out here and see all of you and to have listened to Roy and to Terry Kelly and to Laurie and really talking about the partnerships. I call Salem the collaboration capital. We collaborate here better than anywhere else, I am convinced of it. And this project is a perfect example of how that collaboration weaves together throughout our community to bring to the public an asset that is going to be a vital part of our community, both our recreational and our habitat, and I believe our economic development community as we move forward. But you know, this illustrates that it takes more than just the city to do something like this. It takes more than one state agency. It takes more than one department. And I can see so many of you here who've been involved, either through this recent land transaction or as volunteers who've helped to protect this important community asset, through the historic and cultural connections with the land, and the others of you who were involved in helping to secure adjacent properties also on the island. This project would not have been possible without the support of many individuals and community partners. Our city council strongly supported acquisition of Minto Brown Island, strongly supports the work that's been done with Riverfront Park, and strongly supports the bridge that's going to be built from Riverfront Park to Minto Brown Island. I want to give a special thank you to our city manager, Linda Norris. Linda, would you please stand? Linda has been with the city for nine years. And I really believe that. She has shepherded so many projects in our city, but this is one that I truly say that, that Linda Norris should have. A, she has a big thumbprint on this. Because she, she knew the potential, she saw the potential. And she, as the city manager, was the one person who had the ability and the authority and the power to really guide and move and massage and make sure we all kept our eye on this ball. So thank you very much, Linda, for that. I want to say a special thank you to our, our special partners and thank them for their ongoing support. The Oregon Department of Environmental Quality, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, Boise Cascade, the Confederated Tribes of the Grand Ronde, the National Resource Conservation Service, Salem Audubon Society, Ducks Unlimited, Friends of Two Bridges, and a special thank you to the Bonneville Power Administration for the funding for this project. The city's efforts on Mento Island have generated national recognition including a 2013 Emerit Award from the American Society of Landscape Architects for analysis and planning devoted to a recent restoration project on the southern portion of Minto Island. And we've learned just this week that we've been awarded funding through the Willamette Strategic Investment Partnership to assist with visioning and planning for a long-term conservation management strategy on Minto Island our partnerships continue to grow. As you saw, many of you went on the tour today. We've come a long way, there's a long way to go. When I reflect on this project and the companion Minto Island pedestrian bridge, which you see in the uh, diagram on the far, my far left, we are figuratively and literally building a bridge between the past and the future. And our efforts are ongoing, and they're going to leave a legacy for the future generation. Salem's history began on the Willamette River, began as a working river with key industries like Boise Cascade. We want the next generation to remember this legacy and to enjoy new opportunities and new experiences on the Willamette River. 
And I want to say a very personal note about that. My husband and I began canoeing on the Willamette River about 30 years ago when we moved to Salem. We've canoed up the slough, we've canoed from Independence to Salem, Salem to the Wheatland Ferry, in and out and around the slough. We absolutely have seen this river from the water's level. We're avid bird watchers, and we have identified so many species out in this area. And so I have a special appreciation, a deep, deep appreciation for the work that really all of you have done to make this, this, this um, resource available for our community, for the public, and for the future. I want to tell you a little bit about John Minto because you keep hearing Minto Island. And John Minto was a real person. And it's really important and significant to remember him today. He was a true steward of land for the city of Salem. In 1867, he purchased 247 acres of dense brush and flood debris. He eventually turned it into a farm. There's a drawing of Salem from 1867 that shows Minto Island as a forested and wetland floodplain. But then, from 1876 to the 1930s, that land has been used for agriculture, including hops, orchards, sheep, and dairy farming. His impact on the state of Oregon is actually much broader than that. He served four terms in the Oregon legislature. He organized the first Oregon State Fair, and he helped survey the Minto and Sandy Ann Mountain Passes. So we really owe a lot of a debt of gratitude to John Minto. I want to talk for a minute about the actual uh, acquisition of the island. This recent land purchase fills the gap between our other Salem properties along the Willamette River that have already been protected for conservation and recreation, totaling 1,300 acres, including the Minto Brown Island Park, which has over 1,200 acres of park and natural area, the Audubon-owned property, which is 22 acres, the Riverfront Park, which is 23 acres, and the Eola County Park, which is 76 acres. Specifically, the funding includes resources to remove invasive species and enhance riparian areas on Minto Island, including planting of natural species, creation of soft surface trails, interpretive signage, and ongoing maintenance. This purchase supports the opportunities for park patrons to access the Willamette River and to view wildlife habitat in so many locations in the area. The acquisition complements the Urban Renewal Agency's efforts to construct a pedestrian bridge and trail between Riverfront Park in downtown Salem, which you see in the diagram, and the Minto Brown Island Park in South Salem. You know, this new bridge is going to connect the residents and the visitors who come on foot, on bike, wheelchair, strollers, roller skates. They're going to be right out there to this beautiful park and natural areas, which will total over 1,400 acres, 20 miles of trails along the Willamette River. What a unique and wonderful asset this is going to be for Oregon's capital city, for Salem, and for our state as well. So it's important for me to note that these actions didn't happen just by the city of Salem alone. It's really been our elected officials and our committed staff who've tra transformed dreams and ambitions into reality. I'm really proud of the work that's been done. It's really an honor to be a mayor in a community like Salem, like our collaboration capital and with all of our partners to really bring about an asset like this. I'm convinced that recreation and natural resources is going to be the next major economic engine in this region. And this park, this acquisition, the development of the bridge, the connection of the parks is going to be a very large part of that. Now I want to direct you to uh, the images that are here and there are handouts on our, our display table and staff here who can answer your questions and we also have more information on our website which is uh, www.cityofsalem.net slash Minto Bridge so you can actually gain even more information than you're hearing today. So again, it's an honor to be here, and I thank all of you for your work and your role in bringing this wonderful, wonderful property together. Thank you.
Thank you. Uh, now